Both Terry and I come from Invercargill. Both of us went to Marist College um, Secondary School. What I saw in Terry quite quickly was this ability to inspire and how he managed that in terms of the students and players. Also his perseverance and of course he just had a natural loyalty. Terry was a student here in 1957, but uh, he returned in 1966 as Brother Terence, not much older than the senior boys. Uh, friendly, yet competitive nature, and a really hands-on approach to training. He quickly earned the respect of every team he became involved with. His success went beyond rugby. It was apparent in all aspects of school life, and he was absolutely loved at the school. It demonstrated it was possible to succeed in whatever sport or endeavour you took part in, that effort gave reward. Working as a team gets more success. A star team beats a team of stars. Yet in winning, you can still be humble. Brother Terence's leadership of the Spools Rugby, uh, it became a force to be reckoned with under him, winning the B grade in 1968, the A grade in 1969, again in 71 and 72. And the school really thrived around that. There was a great sense of self-belief and of pride that came with that. Uh, the leadership and achievements of this humble man continued following his departure from St Paul's and leaving the Maris brothers. Terry carved success in Civvy Street, including Rosmany College, Mount Albert Grammar, Auckland Secondary Schools and Barbarian Rugby, AUT, Sport and Education in the Pacific Islands. Terry's impact at AUT summed up by friend and colleague Malita Matorona, who is here tonight. Terenzio is an infectious, energetic and curious educator, shows ethics with groundbreaking ideas, pushing his sports program forward and ahead of what was established. Always thinking, always highlighting the support he got from others around him, a really generous colleague, uh, a quality very rarely seen these days in his generosity and humility and success. He succeeds in making others succeed. His ability to network and connect points, themes and ideas and people is legendary. Nobody uh, Melita says, can say no to Terenzio. Under Terry's inspirational leadership with staff from AUT and Unitech, established Mara sports coaching programs in the Pacific. These programs now include hundreds of young brothers and nuns from over 17 different religious congregations, established throughout the Philippines as well as in Apia, Samoa. The Maris coaching program's values are that of Marcellian Shamap. In order to teach children, one must love them and love them equally. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, what a wonderful man. Please welcome to the stage, Terry Horn. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, you very much. Yeah, people are delighted about this. People are, uh, the school loves you. And I, I absolutely know you loved the school when you were here, both as a, as a pupil and as a teacher. I think um, St. Paul's College was very, <coughs> important in my life. I, I grew up here, so I met Brother Romuald over there, who was my inspirational teacher. And um, What was inspirational about him? It was, uh, so he taught me maths, and I, I was hopeless at maths, and, and I still am. Um, but I used to see Romuald out on the field, and he'd be um, playing softball with George Sabuskas or George Peculandas, and um, he had his he was wearing a Maris Brothers habit at the time. He was sleeves rolled up and he'd be pitching a softball. And uh, I thought, I want to be like that man. And um, he, ins he inspired me. And, and, and what was it? Just, just the, the damn he gave, the effort he made, his sense that, that, that the more involved he got, the more the boys would respond. I think the key thing was um, he was relating to the students through sport. And that became my mantra, that um, I could see that sport as a means of communication. And, um, and so I've followed it for even till today. I'm, I'm running programs in the Philippines. Um, and the lecturers from AUT are actually teaching teachers, mainly Maris brothers and uh, nuns, 
to communicate through sport. And that's, I've, ha- I've held that ever since I, was, ever since I met Romulo. And if you find that common ground, if you can get to boys, then having established that relationship, you can do anything with them. Really. Amazing, yes. Yeah. I've got a closer relationship with the students I taught sport more so than um, t- t- uh, students I taught on a regular basis. Yeah. I, th- I think, because it's a long time since many of us were teenagers, adolescents, it's a tough time in your life, isn't it? It, I think it's possibly tougher now than it was when we were growing up. Mm, but don't know. No. <laughs> I mean, they. Um, I think they're still the same. Yeah, but but, and 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 kids who are good at sport find a sense of self belief, don't they? And yes. from that, yes. the, the confidence can be carried into other aspects. Exactly of right. Yes, I think that's what's happened with many of these guys here, that they've um, developed. Sorry, impressed in sport yet they were able to transfer that success into their own lives. So I, I've formed relationships with, and friendships with many of the old boys here, and um, that's been one of the key things. That m- most of the ones I talk to have been very successful. What's it like when you see the lights go on in a, in, 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 in a boy's eyes? Maybe one who's, who, who hasn't had much self-belief before, who hasn't been doing terribly well. What's it like when you see them start to get it and understand what they're capable of? I think it's later on in life when you, you meet them as I met guys tonight. Uh, you can see that what wonderful people they are, what leaders, what innovators. Uh, there are several here who are leaders in their industry. And uh, I, I'm aware of that. And I see them at, saw a crowd of St Paul's boys at the Barbarians Rugby Club the other night. And they, the three of them, they know who they are. They are the ones that added vitality and, and exuberance to the whole whole club. So there's a um, there's a special thing here at St Paul's which um, it's good to uh, yeah if we latch on to that it's, it's important. W- w- when did you leave the school? When did you last? I was here. I left. Sorry. When did I leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a student. As a as a teacher. Oh, it's 1975. And do you still bump into kids who 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 want who want to thank you who who you taught in in the 70s who who remember? They do, yes. Well, not so much want to thank me. It's um, I want to thank them um, because I grew up with them. So I came here as a, a, a shy uh, 14-year-old and then I, I joined the brothers and I came back here as a teacher and, and through the support of the brothers, uh, and Anselm's not here at the moment, but um, Anselm and... Um, but certainly, I've got to mention Romuald again. Um, they sort of supported what I was doing and gave me the freedom to uh, help other people to succeed. Yeah. And, 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 and this is a template that's now uh, applied far and wide, up in the Philippines yes, and Samoa. Yeah, and Samoa, yeah. And, 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 why, and what is it about it that works? Why is it able to travel? Well, I think we've got this, I've got this, so I'm carrying on, I, I believe that I'm carrying on the work of a Marish brother, and uh, that I've got support of um, people in this room here, uh, who su- supported the uh, program financially, and uh, they've backed me, and um, it works, and it's still going, it's after eight years. Yeah. Uh, you must be proud of the school, to be here. Oh, today. very much so, this is, this is my home. This is my home. And, and the school is now sending out really important messages about it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, from my observation, I think you, we can put a lot of that down to Kieran. Uh, Kieran has shown exceptional leadership and uh, he's brought people around him like Marie and uh, Bruce. Um, and of course, the board of board of trustees or governors, whatever they call. Um, but Kieran is a great great operator and a great leader, and uh, I, I just want to get behind him. Yeah. Well, the school is so proud of you, yeah. and also the school is so grateful for you. So congratulations, and you richly deserve this because uh, yours has been a life closely entwined with the school. So thank you for everything you've oh, done. Oh, thank you. Thank you for, for having me here. Ladies and gentlemen, Terry.